In this lesson we are going to do another intersecting roof um, but this time we'll use two separate pieces of roof. So watch how we do this. We're up on our level two. We start our roof tool, home, roof by footprint. I'm going to set my overhang. I'll leave it at 18 inches. I'm going to click in here to make this current. I'm going to go around here like this. Watch. Click, click, and it doesn't matter which side I pick on there. Okay. Now I'm going to use my um, trim so I'm going to go to my uh, modify and I will use the trim to corner and say trim this guy and this guy so that's going to give me sloping on all edges I'm gonna hit escape escape I want these two guys to be gables once again you can do this after the fact I'm doing it on the fly here while I'm doing it. you could always go back and re-edit it and take the slope off that will create my two um, gable edges okay and then I can just go up here and say finish the roof boom that's the first part of it now I can pick um, use my tab button tab and oh I don't want to do that all I want to do is pick this guy shift middle mouse button to the other side control pick this guy and attach those two to the roof okay so that's kind of the first part Okay, now I'm going to do this guy over here. So down in here, once again, I've got an overlay of my level 1. That's why I can see the walls in my level 2 here. So I'm going to create another roof. So I'm just going to go up to here, roof by footprint. And I'll leave my overhang the same and my level. So all I have to do is go tab, tab, tab. Now for the, the one coming across here, all I'm going to do now is watch. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to use a regular line. I'm just going to draw a line from here to there. Escape, escape. Okay, so these three edges are all going to be sloped, and this guy isn't. So I need to just go and do a little bit of a trim here by using my trim to corner. Say trim this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. Okay, escape, escape. Now I'm going to pick this end one and take the slope off of it. Click out. And now I can say finish roof. Okay, so now I have two little separate pieces of roof in here okay I have this roof and I have this roof okay now what I'm going to do I'm just going to maximize this here and use my roof editing tools so I'll go up to my modify tab and I will go to my join roof tools join roof and all I do is pick this edge pink and then pick this surface pink and there goes my roof edge now I'm lucky because that point didn't go above that if this wall was any wider that point would change but look what we can do here if I take this and I nudge that with my keyboard okay I'm nudging that wall I'm moving it over of course my roof is updating and um, and adjusting accordingly okay if I go over to here and grab this wall on my second floor plan watch when I move it out watch what happens when that point goes above the other roof okay it's actually gonna cause a little bit of a problem which is what you would expect so we'd have to make sure that there was uh, we could go in and remodel that but there's our um, intersecting roof by using two separate roofs as well as the lesson before by doing it all in one roof